You want to see the highest price sales in Manhattan Beach in 2023? Of course we do, you dumbo. Well, buckle up for a deep dive into the wild world of the top sales of Manhattan Beach's 2023 housing market. It was a year of contrast with whispers of cooling and brattling against some seriously eye-watering sales. Oh dear Lord, my eyes are watering. First, the reality check. Mortgage rates went nuclear, being at their highest in 20 years, and so affordability took a major hit, especially after 20% plus appreciation year over year than the pandemic madness of 2020 and 2021. But hey, here's the challenge. There's... Uh... Champagne? Yet, 2023 also saw plenty of impressive high dollar sales. Exhibit A, the top sale of the year was actually sold off market after spending some time on the market. 1408 The Strand closed for 16.75 million in March after not selling during its previous listing period. The four bedroom, five bath, 4,500 square foot, built in 08, finally sold and closed for 16.75 million. Previously listed by the owner agent builder in 2022 at 18 and a half million. The official MLS top dog was another stunner on the beach, albeit slightly less good looking. 3100 The Strand, an incomplete remodel with a fascinating history, went under the hammer for a cool 14.5 million in August. It's a smallish four bedroom, three bath, 2400 square foot house on a larger corner strand lot. Originally constructed in 1925, the owner was doing a remodel with the original footprint because they wanted to keep the house smaller so they could have a pool in the front. Who knows what the new buyer is going to do there? Doing who knows what? This was a court-ordered sale, and since the property was mid-renovation, it was sold as is. This property has been sitting with a fence around it for years. I'm sure the neighbors are going to be happy to see this front row eyesore finally get some love. It was listed by Bryn Stroike at Bayside. Speaking of epic, let's talk about Kings. LA Kings hockey legend Anze Kopitar, specifically. Well, he decided his double lot compound at 11734th Street was a bit to something it hit the market at a jaw-dropping 37 million dollars the highest price tag in manhattan beach mls ever seven bedrooms 10 bathrooms and enough square footage 7600 or so for the entire team probably it's listed by june emerson with vista sotheby's did kopitar just wave to you also there's a triple lot compound at 212 the strand it's the first and last triple lot on the strand by the way the owner made a comment to a wall street journal reporter that they would sell the property at or around 150 million price point. Because why not? Why not? The home is currently listed for rent at 130,000 a month. 130. As a furnished short-term rental, and it's not currently on the MLS for sale. We call it Tommy Bahama House, because it looks like that. With her having children, walking the grounds of Tommy's Bahama. Here's some other high prices that did not sell that aren't on the market currently. For a while, early 2023, 308 The Strand did try to sell at 36 million, but then they took it off the market. And then 3216 The Strand tried to sell, get 30 million, but both listings expired, and we'll see if any of those properties come up sometime later. That price is sky high. But for reference, the high sales of Manhattan Beach was 1,000 The Strand. It's an old corner lot, it's giant, and it sold for $21 million in 2017. It's now on the market for $30 million. That's expensive. The second highest price in Manhattan Beach, 814 Pacific Avenue in the Hill section on a 23,000 square foot lot. It sold for $20 million also in 2017. 508 The Strand was down to the stud remodel in 2021. So you've got the LA Kings double lot on the 100 block for 37 million, which is certainly raising eyebrows. And over in the Hill section, things are getting equally exciting. I'm excited. Just a couple of weeks ago, a stunning 2021 Contemporary built with panoramic views at 1001 First Street hit the market for a cool 29.9 million. 9,200 square foot floor plan with tons of views. Yeah, that'll do nicely. We'll be watching close to see how this one fares because that's a big number. That is a big number. Now moving to east of the sand section of the tree section, prepare to be surprised, surprise. Formerly laid back, affordable neighborhood. You know, actually price records, they just keep happening. Case in point, a recent off-market deal in August, an American Martyrs area property sold at 604 14th Street. It fetched a staggering 10.75 million. It's five beds, and it's really cool without being gaudy. And not only did it have a record, but it also beat the last one by 75,000. That was listed by Jen Karras at Vista Sotheby's. So whether you're a seasoned investor, a starry-eyed first-time homebuyer, but you're simply, you know, curious, there's no denying Manhattan Beach real estate is 
very fascinating. Fascinating. It's a microcosm of luxury where beachfront bargains are a myth and the affordable options are... <laughs> Well, there's nothing affordable there, really. It's a market for dreamers, I don't know, risk takers, and anybody else who wondered what it feels like to live on the edge, both literally and, you know, figuratively. You know, like the ocean living on the edge. Get it? I don't get it. What we see here over and over is there is a lot of money here in Manhattan Beach and Hermosa Beach, Redonda Beach, and the people with money tend to always have money. A lot of money. And they don't really care about mortgage interest rates because they're not usually affected by that because they usually pay cash. So the higher end markets don't generally get as affected by the economy. So what do you think about these sales? Write me back and let me know. What should I write back? Uh, 